Props to Yuna's mom for doing this for her entire family and friends. <laughs> Grab your sukara and come eat with us. I'm Cindy. I'm Yuna. I'm Felicity. And today we're eating kinsu. Okay, so we actually made our own kinsu. Homemade, that's right. It was a hassle. It really was. So do you want to describe the process? Yeah, so two nights ago, we poured milk into containers and we froze them. So the white here is vanilla milk, and then we have cookies and cream milk. Um, we also have strawberry, which are like the pink chunks. And then we have putt, which is red, sweet red bean paste. There is some haagen vanilla ice cream on top, and it's drizzled with uh, condensed milk and pineapple dice, dices, or diced pineapple. Yes. <laughs> diced pineapple. I love English. I love English too. And I love condensed coconut milk, yes. so I might so have some. So the process of making this, after we froze the milk, we just had to scrape the chunk of ice until we were able to fluff all of it up. So, now let's dig in. Okay, everyone, first bite. Some red beans. Get some pineapple on there. Ice cream, everything. This is hard work right here. Gotta enjoy every bit of it, ready? Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it tastes better because we made it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. This is like the fruit it's of so our side, but I just love it. I love the smell. <gasps> mm. Yes. Okay, that might have been. Actually, there's no such thing as too much. Good thing I took my lactate pills. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you please explain to us, Sarah, life of being lactose intolerant, aka life of being Asian, pretty <laughs> much? Well, generally if I have dairy, I will have very bad stomach cakes, but I don't really respect my lactose intolerance that much. Mm -hmm. But I do take lactate pills sometimes, so that causes no stomach cakes after having dairy. But I just mm -hmm. generally try to avoid drinking milk altogether, but like cheese and yogurt are fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just too much. The pineapple is a really good touch. Like, I really don't like pineapple, but I feel like the fact that it's a bit crunchy kind of like it complements. And plus, it's a bit like tart or sour, so like exactly. it doesn't make it too sweet. So it's like a good like, contrast. I think the tartiness of fruits is very well paired with sweetness, especially the red bean. Mm -hmm. and that's what makes summer desserts so refreshing. Is like that tart and the sweet tone. So since this is technically like a summer dessert, mm -hmm. yep. and it's close to summer. What are your summer plans? Um, I'm gonna bring fish. Yes, I'll go for it. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably gonna fly back home to Vancouver and just mm -hmm. like hang out with the family for the whole summer, learn to drive, and get my license to be in Alberta. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to drive? What? She doesn't have her license. I only have my L. BC is oh. different. It's kind of weird. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, that's fun. You have your L. <laughs> it's always fun to know how to drive. Yeah, so much Get more around. convenient. Hmm? That sounds like a really fun summer. Um, I'm going to Calgary this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then for those non-Canadians out there, Calgary is like another big city, just a little bit south of Edmonton. And then we are going to, um, I'm going to Korea in two weeks. Two and a half weeks, two weeks. Mm. That's exciting. What are you going to do in Korea? I am... Um, so, I haven't seen my little sister in almost two years. Oh, Yeah. It's like a little family reunion. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go hang out with her, go see my mom. My mom is teaching right now, but um, hopefully I'll be able to take her on a girls trip somewhere. That's the fun. Okay, you guys should try this. <laughs> Oh, shout out to Yuna's oh, mom for this. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about what your mom would do for you guys in the summer with this dessert. So I lived in like, I lived in a neighborhood where it was very hard to find Asian desserts. We'd have to probably drive two hours. So my mom would make it at home and she would freeze milk and scrape it. And like it took us maybe a good 30 minutes to get this much, right? My mom would scrape it and make it for my whole family and my friends. So 
Hopefully we can get to her level one day with our faces. Honestly, is your mom a bodybuilder? Yeah. Oh my god. I would yeah. like to know. No, 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 no. Okay. She's a professional dainty maker. Mm. Mm -hmm. What are you doing this summer? For me? So my birthday's in the summer. Mm. So as a birthday gift, my family and I are actually flying down to the States and going to <gasps> well, Disneyland. Yeah, uh, my birthday. Ooh, that's awesome. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to dress up as a Disney character. I don't know which one yet. Oh. And then try and seek out that Disney character. Ooh, and oh my take God. a picture with them. But the thing is, like, Disney, anyone over the age of 14 can't, like, formally dress up like in like the actual oh, costume. Oh, because like, it might be like one yeah. to the kids. So yeah, because then person. they'll think that person is the character. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is there's something called, um, what is it called? Disney bounding, uh -huh. where you kind of modernize the outfit. It's like a closet. It's like a closet cosplay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys lick your elbow? No. How long are you no, staying in that LA for? Mm, about a week. Okay, because I have some other good spots. Let's do this. Oh, I that's have right. family. Ooh. You guys so all have family in LA. Now. So we're really mm -hmm. kind of like half of it is like visiting them, and then the other half is. Me making my parents take me to Disneyland. Hmm. Growing up, which Disney character were you guys most excited to see? Mm. Robin Hood. No, 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 no. Really? No, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Hmm. Peter Pan. Interesting. Peter yeah. Pan because like the whole personality and like youthfulness and like the whole idea of Neverland was like always intriguing hmm. to me. That you never die. Or no, never grow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's true. Yeah. There's a reason why um my Instagram handle is called Cindy Darling. It's um because I was like, I want to be Wendy Darling. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole reason why oh. Darling. Oh. Yeah. I did not know that. Me neither. Mm -hmm. You learn something new every day? Mm -hmm. What about you? Disney character that you most wanted to see? I mean, I wasn't really big into Disney myself, to be honest, but like if I had to, I'd probably have to go see Mulan, personally. Mm. Mm. The female Asian we, hero. We stand an Asian queen like Mulan. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's actually based off of real life. Person. Yeah. So, oh, really? Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. What the heck? This is so cool. I did not know that. So much more respect for this woman now. Mm. Mm. Quick tip. If you have brain freeze, yes, if you yeah. rub your tongue on the roots of your oh, mouth, it works, though. It works, and works. it'll actually get rid of Hmm, the science behind that? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe because you're, where are the nerves located at the root of your mouth? I feel the nervous system, so you know, don't ask me. Can we just appreciate like the creaminess of it? If, if you guys are like creating dessert and don't have enough money to like go out with vitamins, I definitely recommend Pouring like flavored milk into a container and scraping it, adding like some fruits and yeah, oh, so good. It's definitely it's definitely a lot of work, but it's worth it's it. It's yeah, so worth it. I think you have to. I don't think you can do it with skim milk or two percent. Skip that stuff. Skip all that. Just go straight for the whole milk. Because I think you need something thicker and creamy yeah. to be able to make it better. I love how it's like sweet but like not too sweet because mm -hmm. of the ice. You can definitely taste the cookies and cream. And plus mm. the red bean has like a good, mm -hmm. like gives a good texture. And the cookies and cream is very good. Mm -hmm. I think we could add more of a, we could even put the rest of the ice cream in condensed milk mm -hmm. and dump the rest of the pineapples. Oh, so we're gonna be back in like literally we one could. second and like redecorate this. Yes. My editor words. Round two of pink soup. Oh. Ah. Hey guys, do you know any milk songs? <laughs> no, I do not. Do you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is a classic Korean childhood milk song. I, sure. Sure. I know they had milk songs that were traditional. Ready? Repeat after me. Ready, go. Awesome, love that. Good, good. 
And then it's like, it does that again. And then it goes, Sezange za sejo wa. Uyu mashi iso da sezange za sejo wa. Oh my god, I'm like, okay. Uyu mashi iso da sezange za sejo wa cho wa. Uyu ga sejo wa. Uyu matane. And then it's like, Mm. I actually don't know what the last word is, so I messed up the last word, but... Well, since we're on the topic of um, Korean, how do you say milk in Korean? How do you think? I want you to guess. Based off that song, yeah. Yeah, uyo. 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 What about ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. I ice cream. Ice oh, she's <laughs> an English one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, okay how do you... What about in Chinese? Yeah. Or Mandarin? Oh, I guess milk would be a... Uh, Nyona, like Nyo is a cow, the nicest milk, so cow milk. Yona? Yona? Nyona. Yona. 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 Uyu. Yona. Uyu. Yona. Se. Se. Uyu. Yona. Se. Well, that's just like milk. If we're talking ice cream, then it's like, um, Garam. Garam. I think it's like Garam. Garam. Speaking of ice cream, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Ooh, oh, really? that's a good one. Yeah, because classic. you can add anything to it and make it that It's flavor. classic. I guess so, yeah. I guess that's true. Okay, valid answer. Your ice cream stems from my ice cream. <laughs> your, your ice cream flavor is the Does fruit. pistachio stem from? Because pistachio is my favorite flavor. Yeah, well, you still need the vanilla. <laughs> they said right? despacito. Where did despacito? <laughs> Does pistachio? No! Pistachio. What's your favorite flavor, Felicity? I like mint chocolate chip. Mm. This is like turning into a slushy mess. Yeah. I love that sound. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you guys say when you like have something very refreshing? Do you ever say anything after that? Like you drink it or you eat it and you're just like, <sighs> Does that sound? Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I think in Korea people say like, ah, she won it. She's like, oh, that's so refreshing. But then I feel like maybe that's a grandpa, like an old people thing to do. <laughs> because I've never, I only see my grandpa do it. Oh, yeah. Yuna is a grandma. Mm hmm. Not the other lie, day, but... the other day she told me to come to her work and then she would see me like grandma feeds you. Oh, <laughs> five bowls. Five bowls. Uyu mashi iso na sezaka sete e chowa chowa. Uyu ga te chowa. Uyu something. Good job, Felicity. How can I lie? I'm getting cold. I can't call cold. Cold. home, Felicity. <laughs> <laughs> we are proud nursing students. We're gonna test how smart we are with some summer trivia. Okay. Are you ready to answer some questions? No. No. Okay. I was born ready. Are you ready mm -hmm. now? Yep. I guess so. <coughs> okay. Welcome to Felicity versus me. Mm. Woo. You're gonna answer whatever you think the answer is. <laughs> Okay, I was going to do it anyways. So, <laughs> Stupid instructions. Okay. Ready? I love game time. First video. person to answer right gets a point. Like like yeah, okay. you have to you have to say uyu, okay? Uyu? Mm -hmm. Why can't we just say our own yeah, you language? Yeah, you say s. S. I'm going to say nyone. Yone, yone. Yone and s. Okay, ready? Okay. All sunscreen bottles say SPF. What does SPF stand for? Go. I don't know. You told me this morning and I forgot. Oh, Yone, uh, is it like, what's it? Isn't it like sun permeable factor or something? You get half a point. Sun protection factor. Oh. Yay, Felicity. One point for Felicity. Felicity, I got half a point. What's okay. the prize? Yeah. Because we're already eating. <laughs> so what? Okay, this is just for fun then. Scolianophobia is the fear of. Hint, on summer, are we get a break from this. A break? Fear of school? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, we're tied. One point for Cindy. Okay. Name three foods that are in season in Canada in June. Ready? Go. Yona, uh, watermelon, peach, strawberry? Strawberries, yes. 
Hey guys, it's Cindy. So I just wanted to let you guys know why the video was so abruptly cut short. It's because that the special guest that we had feature in the second half of the video informed us that she was no longer comfortable with her information being put out there as well as her face being shown. So we completely respected her decision. Not everyone's comfortable with their information being put out there on such a public platform. Even Yuna, Felicity, and I aren't comfortable with everything being put out there, which is why you see a lot of clips either sped up or taken out. So with that being said, we hope you respect her decision and understand that not everyone's comfortable with their own information being put out there. I'm just repeating myself now, but I just wanted to get that point across. So we're sorry for the slight inconvenience. You didn't get to see us finish the bingsu, nor did you get to see Yuna tell us that there are over 3,500 different types of mosquitoes. And basically for the rest of the video, we played her trivia game, which was really fun. We had a lot of brain freezes. And we talked about our summer vacation, which is going to start around this, the end of this week. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!